So many of us have heard about the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. But have you heard about the CEA? These are the special agents that the devil uses to kill, steal, and destroy. They are comparison, expectations, and assumptions. Let's start with agent number one, aka criminal number one. Again, we're going to see a, the agents the devil uses to kill, steal, and destroy. And the first one is comparison. The devil will do anything he can to make you feel like what somebody else got is better than what you got. So when your joys get stolen, you're no longer at peace, which means you're no longer in the present moment, which means you are missing out on whatever's in front of you, whether it's good or bad, that's coming at you. You're focusing on everything that's wrong in your life and not what's good. All right, so now you got your peace taken away from you. Now you're not living in the present moment. Now you think that what everybody else got or your neighbor has is better than what you got. So now you're either going to be attached to the future or attached to the past. As to the past, you probably not attached to the future of anything. Now let's move on to the second agent or criminal that the devil uses to kill and destroy. Expectations. When we place expectations on humans, it's obvious, guys. We have no control of people. We can't control how people act. We're going to be disappointed. So disappointment is nothing but the unhappiness of the failure of something else. So if your expectations are constantly being placed on people and people are already letting you down, which will happen because we're imperfect, we're humans, then you're letting your happiness be up to someone. And the devil knows this. As I think about it, I feel like sometimes expectations are actually selfishly placed on people. Like you expect certain things to be done onto you or to be treated a certain way out of people because of you. So it's kind of like an ego slash pride thing. And as I think about it, I feel like sometimes expectations are actually selfishly placed on people. Like you expect certain things to be done onto you or to be treated a certain way out of people because of you. So it's kind of like an ego slash pride thing. Bottom line is, less expectations, less disappointments, more happiness, less stress. We're not gonna be so upset at people so quickly because we're not expecting anything from them. So place your expectations on God because He will never disappoint you. So to close out on expectations, we really need to be aware of them because the devil uses this particular agent to really destroy families, marriages, relationships, friendships, because we're placing them so high on others and not on God Himself. You ever heard the saying, assuming makes an at out of you and me? Which is true. Because the thing about assumptions is that it's all in your mind. So you're in a way creating something that does not exist. The thing about assumptions though is that because it's in your mind, it goes as far as your, imagina your imagination allows it to. So you can go from anything that's not even true and feel real emotion like anger, sadness, depression, anxiety for something that's not even true. I'm not gonna say if you're gonna act like that'll be a soul. So. I mean, I'm not perfect. But what I'm trying to uh, emphasize that we need to be aware of those assumptions that we're constantly having on a daily basis. Talking about those assumptions are draining your energy and making you miserable. I believe that the devil uses assumptions in our minds to detour us. So we're gonna start assuming things are not true, that are not based on the truth, and they give us real emotions, and these emotions cause us to act because emotions cause motion. For example, uh, a guy stopped talking to me, so I automatically assumed that he stopped talking to me because I wasn't interested enough. So now what I'll do next is I'll start acting differently because now I don't believe that being myself is good enough. And to end it a positive note, <laughs> Um, God is 100% bigger than anything that you're facing today and that anything that the devil has um, used against you, God will use it for you. That's all I have for you guys today. Night.